we hope to have one of our Nobel laureates with us, uh, but I don't know if he is on yet. He is. Okay, very good. Professor Parisi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Very good. Thank you for being with us. We are in the midst of the press conference. You're welcome. Thank you, for, thank you to you. Okay, you have watched it. Very good. And now we have journalists from Sweden and all over the world, and I'm sure they would like to ask you some questions. From the Associated uh, Press. Uh, congratulations, uh, Professor, on, on this uh, uh, award. Uh, this award comes just a few weeks before the COP26 kicks off in uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, do you have a message for world leaders that will be gathering to uh, take decisions on effects, ways to limit climate change, given the work that you've done and today as a Nobel laureate, do you have a message for them? Well, I think that, uh, that th it is urgent, uh, it's very urgent that we take a real, a very strong decision and we move a very strong pace because we are in a situation where the, we can have a negative, positive feedback and that may accelerate the increase of temperature. So it's clear that for the future generation we have to act now in a very fast way and not with a strong delay. Thank you. We have to act now. That was the message from Professor Parisi. More questions? Yes, sir. Yes, gentlemen over there. Yes, uh, Daniel Ingmo, Express, and uh, congratulations, Mr. Parisi. I would like to ask you... Thank you. ...if you were expecting this award and how you reacted when you got the news. Well, I was, uh, I was uh, very happy. I mean, uh, in some sense, I was also... Um, I was not really expecting, but I knew that I had some chance. Uh, and so what, uh, I kept the telephone near me. But I was expecting the phone call, I uh, was not expecting the phone call so early, but I was really very happy. I mean, I was not expecting, but I knew that there was some non-negligible non possibility. One more question, yes, from Lund. Agor, a student's uh, newspaper in uh, Lund University, please. Yes. Thank you so much and congratulations on the prize. As a student magazine, we're wondering how will you celebrate this prize? How do I celebrate? Well, I, mean, I really had not the time to think about because also with COVID restriction, we cannot have a very big celebration, but I think that I should do something, but I'm not really decided. Well, Professor good. Parisi, when you can travel again, I'm sure the students in Lund will throw a great party for you. Yes, we will. Oh, yes, <laughs> I believe so. Thank you. We're glad to have you.